This corner is for running into. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you narrowly avoid a disaster. Ah, I thought that was you. Thanks, that's flattering. <laughs> So between episodes, we moved most of the base back to here, but we also had some mayhem capturing some boars. And I thought I'd show you a few clips of that. Just don't get attacked by the boar. It's really quite simple. It's not keep it busy. Come here, wait. Why is it, like, what is this weather though? It's very strange. There's one, there there's go. two. One, two. Much ball could have ball ball ball. Oh, oh, please shit. don't shut it. Please don't shut it. Please don't shut it. <laughs> no, they all ran out. We'll stand here, block, and look pretty. Hey, we got one. one in <laughs> good job, team. <laughs> got the that's three. Good. I think that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got four pigs. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'll hold them. You. No, here. I'll place a ladder. Boys can't. Whoops. Boys can't. I've, I've ran out of wood. Oh, right. You just run up and over. I <laughs> love the gymnastics required for this catch. Yeah, okay, cool. So, I have mushrooms. Throw them in. Eventually, they'll realize there's food there, and they'll go to it. There we go. There we go. Cool. See how his love hearts nice. now. So, they both need to eat, and they both need to eat quite a few times before they're tamed. If you actually walked in and had a look, it would say that they're tame with a percentage. Mm. Um, so it needs to be 100% tame before they will stop getting angry when you walk in there. When that happens, you can actually <gasps> pet them. And I'll, I'll, I'll let you there enjoy goes. that yourself. So I built this uh, training dojo over here. Yeah. It's nice and cozy. It's a rock. It has, <laughs> it has everything you need to uh, train any skill in Valheim. Guaranteed. So we start here, we have a rock, and you can hit it. Love it. When your weapon breaks, you have either a forge or a workbench to repair it. Great. But what makes this dojo so special? You'll notice that because there's a fire here, and a yeah. rug, and a bed, we are resting and rested. So we generate... Like, we regenerate stamina really fast. I feel rested. Comfort 5. Oh, wow. It does come back quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, how long do you sit here? Let's not talk about it. Um, <laughs> this wood plank you were asking about. Yeah. This is it for jumping on or for jumping training under? Jumping. I'm horrified. <laughs> this corner is for running into. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was thinking, next step uh, in our journey is to sail across the lands. Sail across the lands? Yep. <laughs> uh, we need to find swamps to progress through the game. And that's a sailing task? Well, we won't find a swamp in our current island. And we'll just put it that way. So we found a boat, and we're going sailing this way. I guess. Uh, and we'll look at going out here, if you're looking at the map. Yep, that sounds good. We haven't been that way before. I love that the boat does sail itself. Yeah. Much appreciated, but also quite scary. Because all <laughs> it takes is like one clip through. Yeah, I found it to be quite reliable though, to be oh. honest. Like it's not that bad. Like running, sailing is fun for a while, and then it's just, it's a slug. Your leg is just twitching everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, All right. <laughs> what is it? Uh, huh? Okay, it's gone. Was there a troll? No, no. You narrowly avoid a disaster. Huh? Um, so oceans aren't always safe, and I'll leave mm. it at that. Mm, okay. Cool. <laughs> Why is there okay. a money bag on the map? Did you add that? Oh, thank. Oh my goodness. Get out. Get out. Get out. Good Take spotting. The There's a troll. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab it. And it knows I'm here. Yeah, it's throwing things at me. Shot it in its butt. Eh, butt stab. <laughs> Ouch. One more. There we go.
What the? Hi there. There's a big shield bubble. Wow. Hi, Haldor. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know any of this was in the game. Crazy. Ooh. And this is a permanent fixture. Yeah, he won't move. Ah, worth making a portal for. <laughs> like pick up everything that's in there and then you go sell most of it for extra money and then buy the Meningjord thing that's worth 950. Hi there, Aldor. You've got a Christmas hat. A portable petrol light source for the dungeon explorer. That is cool. And you wear that on your head? May Maging Yord gives the wearer superhuman strength. Yima flesh, the earthy remains of the giant Yima. A fishing rod and some fishing bait. What's this? Sell. I sold amber. Sold amber. More amber. Saw lots of rubies. Saw lots of pearls. More rubies. How much gold did that? 1,000. Two. Almost 3,000 gold. One. Ooh. Oh, we're just short. Yeah, that is Haldor. There is only one of him. In only one? The entire, in literally the entire map, there is only one merchant. And wow. you only see them uh, when you get close enough to their biome, which is one of any Black Forest biome. Um, but all you can do now is one of the Mechin Yords, you can equip it. Yes. I have, and it is giving me an extra 150 carry. Which is actually incredible. Also, we've clearly done something to anger the gods or something, because there's so many more evil dwellers. What is this guy? What the heck? Uh, body. Yeah. I just saw someone standing with the hood, dark eyes, and a stick, just watching me from the heel. And as soon as like, he was standing right here, just standing here. And as soon as day came about, or maybe I got too close, he disappeared. Is it a ghost? No, it wasn't a ghost. It was more formed than the ghosts you find in dungeons. Maybe uh, it was just the wind. Oh no, <laughs> too much content. <laughs> Where's the boat? Found the boat. Nice knifing. I've been practicing. Anything interesting about this island? Not particularly. We should put a portal Ooh, on you it. See on the left. I see a uh, ugly looking tree. I see a lot of ugly looking trees. Blimey, son. Alrighty, um, let's uh, investigate the swamp. It's big. There's skeletons in it. And a drogo. Oh, I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's flattering. I got entrails and sausages. <gasps> More food types. Wow. I like this swamp. The swamp's look cool. Yeah, they do. Slime! Literally slimes! Oh, it's called a blob. I got ooze and an ooze. Well, I learned about ooze bombs. So there's fir trees. Can we cut down the massive trees? Um, I'm not what? certain that we can't. That's a, a two, star. two two stars. No, no. <laughs> that was a crit. Not gonna. You're not gonna win that one. I mean, can I try cut down an ancient tree? I feel that's. I feel that's slightly sacrilegious, though. <laughs> There's a blob on a tree over there. Is it just going to give me 
a normal log. Ancient bark, and we can make a bonfire. Man, it's learning so much today. Um, this looks like a very small swab. Yeah, it does. Back to the boat. Yeah. So we're trying to find the swamp equivalent of a dungeon. Okay, that's a little disappointing, but we'll uh, continue on. Oh, goodness. Uh, what is that? I would help, but I have no arrows. Take the wheel. Yeah. Missed. Uh, do we need to make for land? Yeah, make for land. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> Just shoot the boat. There was some kind of first person mode, this would be so much easier. Okay, it should swim away. If it doesn't, which it doesn't look like it is right now, we're gonna hit it with the sword. We can just attack it. No. You can do it. Oh wait, they changed it. Nice. It's okay, funny. I don't have any stuff. I'm glad you're around. <laughs> um. Yeah, they normally don't follow us to land, but that one did. Well, uh, there is a swamp over here though, so we can have a look at that. I do want to try and. Craft some arrows. Yep. But where's this swamp? Uh, it's just to the uh, east. I just feel like I have no energy. Yeah, because it's wet and cold. I didn't realize that was a mechanic. This game gets better and better. I've got enough wood in my... Oh my gosh, we're losing the boat. Yep. I don't think so. I'm in the boat. What's the plan now? I'm pretty sure it stays still. Uh, there's a swamp on the right we can have a look at. Okay. You don't think we're going to lose this boat? Nah. Worst case, you know, we got a portal. I'm attached to that boat. Plus, this looks promising. Skeletor. That's a lot of Skeletor. Oh, wooden arrows suck. Body. Yeah, I see. <laughs> All right, Mr. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> good news. It's a good one. You found a I'm over here. You found an evil thing. I see evil green box. Evil green boxes. That's what we've been looking for all this time. I don't know if we're going to get into the green evil box thing today. We'll probably want Smudge with us for that one. Regardless, before we venture into it, we're setting up a little house hut thing to house the portal and a bed and a workbench and such. You know, in case we die and we need to come back a few times. Also, it looks like a pretty good swamp, and I'm guessing we'll be traveling here a few times at least. Kind of like the Black Forest base we made. I also, I never know how aesthetic to make these huts. Like, they're here to serve a function, but I don't really want to just make a square box. A square box is boring and ruins the immersion. But building on camera can also be boring and ruin the immersion as well. So, let me know if you want to see more base building, this kind of relaxed stuff between all the adventuring, or if you're more interested in the combat and the exploring. Yeah, so we're not going to get into the swamp today. That will be in next episode. Did finish off the little hut, you know, put in some beds, put in the... put in some beds, put in the workbench, and threw down the portal. For now, I think we're heading back, and we're going to try and restock, clear out our inventories, and maybe check on our animals. Uh, and I don't know what to do with the serpent meat. Does that go in the to-be-cooked chest? 
Yeah, for now. Um, we can cook it, and it is very nutritious, but there are more complicated recipes that it's worth using for. And I don't know what to do with the blood bags either. Um, same deal for now. Put it in the two cook place. We'll need to have like a chest for making like mead and complex foods. Ideally next to a cauldron. Yeah. Yeah, like a little alchemy hut. Um, but that's in the future. The bees are sleeping. So much freaking honey. The carrots are ready. Yeah. And I can't see the boar. Did we lose our boar? Oh, there's a boar in there. Ah. He's tame. Boar loves you. <laughs> that's fantastic. And that's also a good place to wrap it up. Bye.